hi guys welcome to my channel my name is ella i'm the ceo of ella beauty world skincare so today i'm going to bring something special to you guys you can see i just wash my hair just wash my dreadlock i want to show you guys some stuff you actually need when you have dreadlock some of the oils you need to work on your dreadlock I'm going to show you guys the shampoo I use to wash the dreadlock. I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys to see the shampoo I use on my dreadlock. So today we're going to mix. There's a, there are some oh yes I do mix for my dreadlock so that my dreadlock will be you know very very the you know very very good and it's going to grow very very well without itchy and you know, scratching and all that so i do relock my dread after seven weeks just like um let me say two months so that's how i lock my dread to so strengthen the dreadlock so that's how i relock it and every day there's some stuff i do spray on my dreadlock so i add it here this is where i do add what i spray on my dreadlock so guys let me show you this is how i miss miss it the oil this is how i miss the oil First and foremost, I add my rose water in here. I add my rose water. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm not going to be doing this. But this is the one that is remaining. So first and foremost, I add my rose water here. Then I add my lavender, my lavender oil. I add just one spoon of lavender oil. Let the rose water be more let it be like half half of this let it go half of this this is um 250 or this is 200 ml i think so let it go half of this then you put one spoon of your lavender oil then this is my um aloe vera oil aloe vera oil helps to strengthen the roots and also it helps with the growth of your dried log then the next thing I also add is my peppermint oil. This is it, my peppermint oil. I don't add much. I just add like um five drop of peppermint oil inside, just for the the itching, the itching of the hair. You know, dry lock itch a lot. Then the next thing I add is my tea tree oil. So I add one tablespoon of my tea tree oil. And the last I add to this is my Moroccan. Yes, Jamaican, my like Jamaican mango and lime oil. Yeah. And this oil has rosemary, it nourish hair, the scalp, great for dry skin, help soften the muscles. It also is also very 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 nice. This is super super nice. I add just five drop of this um oil, black castor oil, rosemary. I just add five drop because I don't want it to be too thick. If it's too thick, you will not like your the oil to you know, start itching you at the down of your dreadlock. So I hope you guys do it. I just finished washing washing the dreadlock. Okay, I just finished washing my dreadlock. Just finished washing it. Yeah. So <laughs> I actually I actually do wash my dreadlock two weeks every two weeks that's how i wash my dress every two weeks i wash my dress look so i'm going to bring maybe updates if you want to know more about how to take care of your dread look then you just um let me know leave it on the comment section so this is how i do i just pray after washing it i just pray. it i just pray it on the dread look and use my hand to rub it i just pray it that is why i'm leaving it on this um, spraying bottle so it can be easy for me to spray it then in the morning when I'm going out, I just pray, you know, just pray it on your dreadlock. It will help to strengthen your dreadlock and it will also help to make your dreadlock grow faster. That's what this oil does. And it will help with the scalp, you know, for you not to eat your dreadlock all the time. So this is the morning. I just want to do this for you guys to see. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you know and you love what I'm doing and if you have watched to this this ending and you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel i love you all guys see you in my next video bye guys